let's move on to <laughs> like or dislike. <laughs> That's what you're hearing, Dave. Uh, where we go thumbs up or thumbs down on the stories we've all been sharing. Ad Busters, the magazine behind Occupy Wall Street, is also behind the 20th anniversary of Buy Nothing Day on Friday. While the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday is one of the biggest shopping days of the year, Buy Nothing Day is a global day of anti-capitalism and anti-consumerism to try and, quote, take back our Christmas season from the commercial, commercial forces that have hijacked it. I usually buy nothing because I'm day busy. buy nothing day. I, like, yes, what do you I, think, I, Jody? I mean, I like or I, dislike. Don't tell I, my mom that. I rarely go yeah. out the day after Thanksgiving just because I'm like I don't want to move the day after Thanksgiving. I'm lazy. I'm the absolutely lazy. But I, I mean, I think that um, you know I saw somewhere somebody talking about uh, you know if we really wanted to use our power and you know occupy Wall Street and things like that, you know instead of buying from you know large national chains and things like that, yeah. go to go to small local stores. Go to you know, go to small retailers, go to, to places that need, you know, support in your community as opposed to going to, you know, the, the big department stores or the, you know, big stores where you can find those items. And it might be a little bit more expensive, but chances are your money is going, you know, to support a, a smaller community, you yeah. know, it, go, going to the community level as opposed to going to these large corporations that, you know, don't pay, you know, taxes and don't, you know, all of the things that the Occupy Wall Street movement is against, like those, you know, smaller stories, you can sort of support so those. So Dave, do you well, agree, because, like or dislike? Well, because I don't usually talk about these <laughs> kind of subjects, I'm oh, going to adopt the, an Alita English Finnish accent. accent yes, for the story, yes, I see. I'm going to do that because, I mean, in this economy, do you really want people not spending Right. Right. I mean, that's well. That's what I'm saying. It does you, bring up another it, issue. It just Don't is a choice about where you're going to gonna spend your money. You did a lot yeah. of research, didn't you? For this I did. Story. Well, mostly on that voice because I mostly wanted to put it accent. in something. <laughs> How about the crowd of a thousand? What do you think? <laughs> okay. So <laughs> there um, they are. We see? had some viewers vote on this, like or dislike too, and um, the viewers that voted disliked this all heavily. But I have a favorite tweet that I picked out. This is from Xavier Robillard. He tweeted, "It's not." Or I'm sorry, it's easy to not shop on Black Friday because when you aren't working every day, every day is buy nothing day. Oh. That's very oh. true. I mean, I, I mean, I, like you said, you know, I think we want people spending in this economy, but it's just making making choices about where you want to spend your money. People want to make statements. I mean, we're, we're a society that now has something to fight for. We've, right. we've never seen this with our generation, so it's pretty powerful. I just now, want to take a nap another on thing, Friday. Well, <laughs> well yeah. I don't know if you want That's to take a nap after day. imagining this lovely man. Okay. People magazine named Bradley Cooper the sexiest man alive last week, and the web blew up with controversy. Apparently, many actual people feel Ryan Gosling is much sexier. I'm an actual people. They started a Facebook yeah, petition yeah. and held a protest at the People Magazine's <laughs> office building to get the decision overturned. Really? How about you guys? Like or dislike this? I, I mean, I think I, I, I mean, I think Bradley Cooper is a very good-looking man, but I am I am a Ryan Gosling fan. This is I'm something to very, protest. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, come. I, I don't think it's something to protest. <laughs> no. I think I think that we can probably <laughs> protest some more important things, but. I think that tweeting about it is a completely legitimate yeah. response. <laughs> Dave? Well, if I was a woman and I was raised a girl up until age 11. Makes sense. I would I would probably have to say Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah, just definitely. to be objective. Ryan Gosling. Yeah. I ran into him in Whole Foods oh, a couple really? weeks ago. I had, and I and? had a conversation with him. If he's watching, I know you're out there. Um, no, I, I was, I, I, and I, he's, and he's very good looking. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Am I you're like I'm just and imagining some you. things I in my you. head. But he, he knows that he knows that I have a mild obsession with Brian. Just Gossip. mild. All obsessions are mild. Well, um, um, right. Our viewers until, who until voted. You kill no. <laughs> our viewers who voted. Um, our viewers who voted um, are 100% Gosling, <laughs> all the way. Surpri that? No yeah. surprises there. And actually, the petition that's on Change.org, the social justice site, wow. is um, that's trying to get People Magazine to admit they made a mistake. <laughs> I think they're up to four thousand. I think that, that this social. falls. They're up to four thousand seven hundred signatures, and they only need five thousand to. Warrant a response from I people. think it's wow. a little. That's bit, a little much. I think it's a little much. It's not a social justice uh, uh, moment. It might be sort of a lack of judgment. But I mean, again, you know, no. I think Bradley Cooper's a very good looking. You put answer. a lot. They need a new super. super bad. People we magazine needs a new bad. super committee. I just wonder if he, <laughs> I just wonder if he's going to be shopping on Friday. <laughs> That's, yeah, That's that. what I'm thinking. Big questions. Well, finally, Netflix announced last week that Arrested Development is coming back. Netflix. That's right. That company that. 
sold four hundred million dollars of its shares and lost what a few percent of its company is like little down, greedy, little greedy. <laughs> down a bit. I don't even know if it's going to be around when they come back. The DVD and video streaming service struck a deal with Fox Studio and Imagine Entertainment to be the only U.S. distributor when the Bluth family returns in 2013. That's if Netflix I'm, is still around. I'm yes. so no right? Netflix will be. I don't so even you have like or Netflix. Like I don't or dislike. have Netflix, but I will for that. I love. Okay, that's enough to get great. you on. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I love that show. I, I think it's hilarious. I can't wait for the movie, and I think this was a really smart move on Netflix's part. I am Dave? all for. I, mean, I am all for streaming technology. I am. I mean, when I can sit what on kind a of content? flight, when I, when I when, <laughs> the when show I, can't get arrested. When I can, <laughs> absolutely. When I can sit on a flight now that yeah. has Wi-Fi and watch a movie that's streaming, I think that's yeah, I mean, totally cool. Yeah. So yeah. anything that really supports that technology, I think that's the wave of the future. I think that's absolutely. that's uh, where everything is headed, and I so I'm a big supporter. Do you, you say absolutely? I say absolutely a lot. I said it like absolutely. absolutely. It confirms you your interview. statement. That's right. I need, to, I need to stop saying that. Sometimes but you don't speak good. <laughs> when, right. I, need, I need to I'm really think it about back. it. But I do. All the way but back. I, I, I think that you know, like you were talking about, I think it really is sort of the next generation of television mm -hmm. and stuff. I mean, yeah. just to even you know, a couple years ago, people were like, oh, this you know, web TV and stuff like that is not. It's not going to be big. It's not going to go anywhere. And now we it's are. look at us and look at us now. But it really is. I mean, it really is becoming something uh, big and I think it's gonna you know people yeah. want on demand people want it and now. platforms investing in original content we yes. have a, we have a high number of likes on this one no big surprises there and I have a tweet from our friends at funny or die they tweeted quote I've made a huge mistake end quote and this is signed people who canceled their Netflix and just heard about the new Arrested <laughs> Development episodes yes and it's such a funny show what it a is great it's show. a good show it, it, the we writing do, on that is brilliant why don't we do a show, do a show called show like Camp this. Arrested Get a development. Get arrested. development. <laughs> yeah, you know, when we first came up with the, the series, I, I thought that it was, uh, you're getting I was like, mad. People Heat might it up. think it's sort of tied in with, with the rest of development, and then I was like, that could be actually a really good thing. We but I love, I love, mm. I think the writing on that show is some of the best I've Do you hear that, Some Netflix? brainstorming happening. Do you hear that, Netflix? Give us a call. Well, Dave and Jody, you can be you've been great. Be you've been great today. <laughs> Thank you. Big applause for our Thank awesome Thank you, audience panel. of a thousand. Awesome. That's you can find out about Dave Coulier's upcoming gigs and projects at DaveCoulier.tv, of course. And Thank Jody you. Sweden through the most adorable Twitter name ever, at Jody Tweeden. Pretty yes, smart. Yes, which is Dave's, Dave was responsible for really? at Jody Tweeden. Yes. We were sitting in Starbucks setting up my Twitter account because he was like, you have to get on Twitter, and I didn't want to. And he was he said I had to come up with a good name, and I was like, I don't know. And he said, what about at Jody Tweeden? So we and love did it. did she pick it's up lunch? Witty. No. <laughs> we were at Starbucks. I bought your... So uh, well, you can check out their new show at can'tgetarrestedshow.com. Go do it. Check it out. Thank you so much to both of you. I almost said Thank absolutely you. again. And <laughs> please keep letting us know your thoughts and questions by tweeting us at What's Trending using hashtag WTLive. Go do it.